Hi YouTube and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be working on the ornaments for a birthday party that I'm working on. So I'm going to be painting them and showing you how I put them together. And so this is what we're making. And it's just on the wood round that I painted and on the back I put a magnet and I'll show you all the supplies. Here's another one. And they have like a little um, heat set rhinestone. And I'll show you how I do that as well. And then here is another one. So we're going to be working on, this is a project that we're going to be working on today. And I'll also show you the supplies that I'm going to be using. But first, let us go to the word of the Lord for today. And the word of the Lord for today is coming from John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. That is the word of the Lord for today. Thank you for um, enjoying that along with me. So I'm going to go along and show you some of the items that we're going to be working with today. These are the rounds that I'm going to be working with. And these came from um, the flea market in Atlanta, Georgia. My sister gave me these a couple of years ago when we were planning a party. But the pandemic happened um, right when the party was supposed to happen. So we had to cancel the party. So... I was going to do this project with them, make some picture ornaments, but I had to laminate the wood because if you don't laminate the wood, then you get this um, dullness, but I didn't like that either. And then I would have had to go around and try to cut all the excess plastic, and that was just a lot, and this was the sublimation paper that I was using to get it done. So I said I still wanted to do something with them. So then I came up with this project. And this is one that's packaged already in the packaging. And I'll show you what packaging I use and tell you where I got it from as well. If you don't have these wood rounds and you still want to do a project like that, you can pick up these little, um, these little wood pieces at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or somewhere like that. Um, I'm not sure where I got these ones from. They're not in a package. I think I got these from Michael's um, in the wood section. And then these ones either came from Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And there um, you get six pieces in here. And there's no pricing on them, so I'm not sure how much they cost. But um, you can use something like this. If you have a glow forge, you can get some thin one eighth inch maybe balsa wood and cut it off yourself. And you might could even do it with... A Cricut. I have a Cricut Explorer 2, so I don't. I think you can do it with that, but I don't um, use that. I use my glue gun for adding. Let's see. Get my little bucket down here with my supplies in it. Uh, I use the glue gun for adding in the flowers. These are some flowers that I got on a trip to L.A., for my 50th birthday. That was 10 years ago because my 60th is coming up this year. So that's, um, these are the flowers that I'm going to use. These is what I, well, I'll show you the paints first. So I'm just using some paints from Hobby Lobby. Some purple and some gold. And then some more paper from Michaels. Um, this is what I use to paint with. These are just sponges. Let's see, I have purple on that one already. So I get this from Dollar Tree, and then I just cut chunks out of it for painting. So even some of the paint chunks are even this small. I just put the paint on and just dab. So that way, I you know, I have a lot. Also, I can use a sponge brush as well. This is the, these are the magnets that I use. Let's see. These are the magnets that I use. It comes with just a little, it's just a little magnet. 
Um, this one's already done. You can see the magnet on the back. You just peel and stick. And these are the magnets. I got this big old, um, it says it has a 300 and it's 300 count in here. I got it at like a teacher store, um, a daycare center store where you can buy daycare supplies or teacher supplies. Um, I don't even remember why I bought it. I've had it for a long time. So I use those. These are the, um, this package right here that it's in. This is the packing that I got from Hobby Lobby. And it has three different sizes in there, 40 of each size. So I'm doing about 100. So I bought three packages because I'll use the other two smaller ones for earrings that I make with the Glowforge or something like that. So that's my packaging. Then, this is the Cricut um, that I cut out with the Cricut, the name and everything. I use this, and this is some Cricut Premium Shimmer Vinyl. And then this one is Textured Metallic. And I got these on sale a long time ago. And then, this is the heat source gun that I use to put the little rhinestone on right there this um i use this i have one that um uh oh is it dead nope it's not dead i have one that plugs in i can't find it um but i had this as one as well and i got this from joanne and i've had it for many many years you affix hot fix right hot fix crystals with it um i think i have some hot fix crystals in one of these drawers let's see yeah it was well that i used it came with this these are tulip but this gun is imagine imagining but these are hot fix crystals and then these are the crystals that i'm using to put on they're really tiny and i got these in los angeles um maybe four or five years ago my granddaughter lives in san diego we go visit her so I got these there. So that's what I'll be using to stick them on. And the last thing that I'm using is this is some Cricut Strong Grip um, transfer tape to take off the to take off the vinyl. So here is some of the vinyl that's already weeded with the gold one. And then here is some of the ones that are weeded with the black. So I have some in various stages. Like these ones, it just needs, it already has the diamond on it and it already has the flower and everything. So for this one, all I need to do is take the one of these little magnets take off the little um, paper and just stick it onto the back and you can stick these onto your refrigerator I was painting the back but I was like it's going on the refrigerator <laughs> so why does the back need to be painted so I kind of stopped painting the back so this one would be ready to um, package up I'm back. I got a little distracted because I got a phone call when we were, I was showing you all the supplies of the video of what we're doing today. We're making these Cricut uh, party favors. Magnets for refrigerators or whatever you choose to do with it. So I showed you all the supplies already, <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and get started. So I like to work on a piece of aluminum foil. So I am going to put some paint down on this aluminum foil. And I really don't have to put it on the foil because I can just put it directly onto the, I can put it directly onto the, um, to the sponge. 
So I just take it and I just sponge my paint onto sponge my paint onto the um, to the ornament. It dries really really fast. So I'll just sit this one to the side and just pick up another one and I'll go back and paint the top. So I'll just go back and paint the top of that one. If it gets stringy, I'll just pull out the strings. I have uh, some baby wipes down on the side. So I'm just going to continue to paint these. Hopefully you guys are having a great... Today is what? Today is Tuesday. <laughs> today is Tuesday. So I'm just going to continue into um, painting these. When I paint these ones all, when I run out of this one, I'll get another color. Um, I'll get another color. So just painting them. And they dry so quickly. I also have like a little heat gun sometimes that I use to help me with the drying process as well. So just so you can see what I'm doing. Because I want to dry them so I can show you the whole process. Like this one, kind of like the wood is like, mm, I put the paint on it, but you could kind of still see the wood through it. Like on this one, not so much. There's that little one little spot in the middle. So like I said, my sister got these from, um, from a flea market. So I am just making do with what we have. And I like the sponge. The sponge, um, the sponge puts the paint down really good. So I'm just gonna put that there. I'm going to put that, leave that one there. I'm gonna get the gold, and I'm gonna put some gold down on my on my foil. And let's see, there is. Let's get the baby wipe. There is a big glob. I'm just going to get rid of that glob. I have a little trash can right here. Put my paint back. I'm going to pick up a different sponge. Get just a different one of my sponges. Take my gold. And just put my gold on there. It might take a couple of layers of the gold. But that's okay. So I'll just paint the gold. I have to go back and paint the tops. So I just put them down. Let's see. Let me, if I put it down, can you see better? The camera's a little far away. But I just paint it on there with the um, with the little sponge. And let's see. I have a whole box full of them over here to my side. So I'm going to continue to paint them. So, yep. Yeah. Hopefully you guys are having fun doing whatever it is that you're doing today. Or Leave me some comments below as to what kind of projects that you guys work on. Um, like I said, I do all kinds of stuff. I do sublimation. Um... I have a video coming up on my channel where I sublimated some t-shirts for my great nephew's grad night. So I'll be posting that video as well. Some of these are a little bit rougher than others. Like this one, it has like a lot of rough spots. So like when they have like when they really rough the texture, I might paint the back and then use the other side since it's kind of like super super rough so I'm coming down to to the end of this paint so I'm gonna let these dry for a minute now I'm gonna go back to my purple ones and paint the top so I just paint the top of the purple ones with uh -oh, with whatever paint it's almost dry not quite and then I'll just paint the top of that one put it back down because I still have enough paint left in my sponge. 
and then I don't have to worry about the paint getting in the in the little hole because a flower is going to cover the hole anyway. So now I've painted those ones. Here, let's go paint this one again. Paint the bottom of that one. Also, let's see. I'm going to kind of just paint over this one again. This was the one that had the lightness in the wood. So I'll just kind of paint over it again. And then now I've got all the purple ones painted, the top and the bottom. And this one I probably will, once that dries, I'll probably use the back because that's like really, really light. And I don't want to use that one for my front. So then I'm just going to go back over the tops of my gold ones with the paint that's left on my foil and left on my on my sponge. Okay. There we go. There we go for that one too. So now we have all of those. Oh, got one more right here. So I'll just put that down and let that so now let's make some black ones. We'll make a few black ones. And then I will, I think I probably need to get my heat gun. I'm just going to put some little black. So I'll just get a new, pick up a new sponge brush and just paint it on black. Now I can feel this is like, this one is kind of rough. So I might have to do the other side of this one too. Just gonna keep on painting yeah I was making a video earlier the first half of this video um, and um, my husband called in the middle <laughs> so I'm going to have to slice these videos together <laughs> I haven't edited videos but I didn't want to start all over so today I'm going to slice these videos together so I'm gonna have to teach myself some bit of editing because I don't want to start all over <laughs> so sometimes we have to do things out of a you know we're forced to do it so today I'm forced to learn to edit a video but that's okay I'm grateful because I've been wanting to learn for a long time and I just get frustrated trying to watch so many different videos but today I am going to um, I've already edited out the part that where well, he called me so we'll see if I can slice that one and this one together <laughs> and what it looks like I'm hoping that it's not gonna look a hot mess <laughs> so wish me luck but you'll get to see it because I'm gonna slice them together and I just want to say thank you to all those who have subscribed to my channel, all those who watch my videos, um, giving a baby wipe, all those who watch my videos, all those who leave comments, thumbs up. Um, this channel is all about all kinds of crafts. I do wood crafts with my Glowforge. If you're looking to get a Glowforge, um, you can go back to some of my videos on my channel where I do name signs and I do banks and I place those on my channel and um, I'll leave a link because if you're looking to get a Glowforge if you use my link you can save up to $500 on a Glow on a Glowforge Pro $250 on a Glowforge um, it's the Pro the basic and there's one in the middle so if you buy the more expensive one you'll save five hundred dollars if you buy the one in the middle you'll save two hundred fifty dollars and if you buy the basic model you'll save a hundred and twenty five dollars and any savings is a savings so let's see if any of these are dry let's see if this one is dry enough to do our next step let's see where I can prepare some of these with uh, I'm gonna move this to the side and I may have to get my heat gun so I just want to do the process from start to finish so what I'll do is I'll 
take off my, this is strong grip transfer tape from Cricut. This is just a Cricut brand. And usually what I normally use is um, the Magic um, the Magic liner from the Dollar Tree. That's what I normally use. But um, this was in my box. So I just grabbed this. And I don't want to stick this to the paper. So I probably need to go get another Teflon sheet so that it doesn't stick down so a lot of times I'll just stick it on here scrape it down let's see a lot of times I will just use a some kind of little card so these were some cards that I got from close to my heart I think it was years ago I'll just use that to scrape down my, I'll use this to scrape down my vinyl onto the, I'll try to prepare and bring everything I needed in here. And I did bring a Teflon sheet, but I'm using it to put my paint, painted boards on. So I don't, if I stick this tape down to, to the paper, it's probably going to stick. But let's see if I could. Yeah, I'm going to need a Teflon sheet because I don't want it to stick. So let me go get a Teflon sheet. I'll be right back. Turn on my little heat tool. This is a heated tool by Ranger. And I've had this for many, many years. I bought it for embossing when I used to do paper crafting. But I don't think I ever I might emboss one or two things. I didn't emboss very many things. <laughs> so. Oh, this one split. This black one is very, the wood split. So I'm probably going to use the back side of that one. So crafting and videos and all that stuff is not super easy. You have to get a hang and a feel of it. But editing, I guess you really have to know so you can edit out all your boo-boos. Because <laughs> it looks like I got a lot of boo-boos. But we're going to try to edit those boo-boos out and keep it moving. So, let's see. Alright, I got three of these. And now let's see if we can get another piece of our um, Cricut tape. And put it strong grip. Put that in my little trash. Grab another one of my little signs. Okay, that one's going to get a gold one, so I want that. Use my little scraper tool to scrape it on there. Sticky. This stuff is super 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 sticky so then I peel from the I peel off the peel it from the back so I can kind of keep it down onto the put that in my little trash and let's try this again with a dry piece all right let's see if we can get it going this time. Let's see if we can make it work. Alright. Looks like this one is much more successful. So the first one just wasn't dry. So there we go. That one came out, no problem. Let us do this black one, but let us get a gold one over here. And I use the same piece of transfer tape. Let me cut it first. Let me cut a piece off. I'm going to cut one of these off. Where are my scissors? Here's my scissors. Let's throw that away. So when I 
pick it up from here today. I don't have a lot of stuff to continue to clean up and pick up. So I'm just going to cut that off. And I like to keep them on the mat because it's kind of like makes it a little bit easier. So I'll keep that on the mat. I'll cut this excess part off. And get my transfer tape. To my dresser down here. I'm going to use my same piece of tape. I'm going to use this piece of transfer tape until it won't pick up anything anymore. So then I'm going to peel it from the back. Seems to want to stay a little bit better if I peel from the back. That's trash. This is gold. It's going to go on my black one. And there we go. I'm scrape it down with my little card. Okay, and then I'm just going to peel it off. Yeah, once you dry it, 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 uh, it goes a lot better if you dry it. So I'm going to put that back so I can use it again. So that's that one. I don't know. Let's, hopefully you can see that. Okay. So now we have that one. Now we have a gold one. And on the gold one goes black. And then we will put our flower and our bling. And then we'll be done with the tutorial because you don't have to sit and watch me make all of these. Pull it up, scrape it from the back, and if it doesn't come up, then I just peel it from the back, and then I just push it down, just kind of push, roll away. And this you don't mirror. I didn't mirror this in the Cricut. So here we go with our gold. Our black and gold. And you can use the transfer tape over and over a few times. Let's see what I do with the other one. I'm going to see if I can roll that one off. If I can see it on my table over here. So there's our gold one. So now we have one of each color. So then I'm going to get my flowers. Take out three little flowers. And just little flowers they're just little purple little flowers and I got these also in LA many years ago and I'm just gonna put the flowers there my glue gun is already heated up I already got some extra glue sticks to the side so what I normally do is I put the glue on the back of the flower first and then I just push it down and put some glue on the back of this flower and push it down and get my glue on the back of this one my glue is like not I need a new stick even though <laughs> glue sticks you always have to have like a, a stick in there to push out the glue or it doesn't want to come out so put the flower down on this one I don't want to burn myself with this hot glue so then what I normally do is once I glue it down is because it has a hole in the back I'll go back and I'll fill that part with glue as well so let me just pull out some of the glue so it can going 
I put it on there because it'll dry up. <laughs> That's why I like to use the Teflon sheet because you can just peel the glue off. So I'll just let that one sit for a minute. And this one has a little bit of glue on it already, but I'll put more and I'll let that sit for a minute. And then this one needs some glue in the little hole. And I'll put my glue back over here. So I won't burn myself. And I'll turn that one over. And while that's going, I'm going to get my... This glue dried up, so I'm going to take it out. I'm going to get my little heat fix rhinestones. trying desperately not to um, drop this or knock it over because that would be disastrous. So I'm going to turn these over. And what I don't like about this gun is that you have to hold it. You have to hold your finger on the button to keep it heated up. The one that I have that you plug into, that you plug into the you know, plug in, you don't have to do that. But like I said, I can't find that. So I put my little glue on there earlier. So now I can peel it off. And even like when I get ready, this paint is gonna come off of here too. So waiting for these two. Okay, so the glue is kind of dry on this one. So I'm just gonna take it. My eye, this font didn't the name is D-E-L-O-I-S, but the I didn't come out on any of them. So that's why I'm using this little gun to, to put the I on these. So I'm just going to hold it down and get it hot first. And then I'll go and press it on here. And you can kind of tell when the glue, uh, when these are at fixed because... It'll kind of slide. You can tell you'll get a feel for it and it'll slide a little bit to let you know that it's that your rhinestone adhered. And I'm gonna have to keep looking for my so let's see. Uh oh, did my I think my battery died. I need to find my other one or I need to purchase another one because there's the light. It's nice and bright now. So I'm just going to hold it for a minute until I can get it hot. Once I get it hot, then I can, um, I can stick it down on there. So yeah, so this is what I'm working on. I have a hundred of these to do. I have a whole big old um, box of them. I have a whole big box of them. Uh-oh, I got a hole in the bottom of my <laughs> bag. And then I still have some that's not even in that big old bag. So we'll work on these. The party's going to be in April. It's going to be um, 100 people. My mom's turning 80. The unfortunate part is we were supposed to have this party when my mom turned 78. But the pandemic happened. This was two years ago. And my mom, one of her best friends, well, a couple of her friends, um, have passed away since then. And they were alive at the time we were supposed to do the party. So that's a little bittersweet, you know. And my mom found out about the party after, you know, it had, we had to cancel everything because my mom's grandkids from all over the country, her military grandkids and everything were going to come and to the party so um, we ended up telling her about it and so all her friends were excited about coming and everything and um, she doesn't know she knows that we're going to do something but she doesn't know um, when the party is or anything like that so it's sad that you know her best friend is not here anymore so that's the only sad part about it uh oh, this little gun is not, I don't think it's working any, that good anymore like it used to. But let's go and see if we can get these to adhere. My friend has one of these guns. If I can't get mine to work, she says she has one. Let's see my little red button on, my little 
doesn't look like it, but we're going to make it work. It is, oh, it adhered. So let's go and do this. Let's go and do this one. I need to get me some. Uh, these are Dollar Tree batteries that I have in here now. But I need to go get some energizers. That, that's adhered. So it doesn't take a lot for them to adhere. That one adhered too, and um, I made I, the reason why I have two is because I made a blanket years ago, and there's a design that's in my embroidery machine that's built into it. And my friend's daughter had cystic fibrosis, so I made the little girl a blanket. But in the design, I used one of the built-in designs, and I put the little girl's name in this circle. And in the circle, it has it's like a scallop circle, and all these circles has all these little holes that embroidered. So me and my friend, we adhered hot fix crystals to every circle. It was a task, <laughs> so that's why I bought another gun so I can go to my friend's house and she can help me to do that. So thank you, Renee. Um, but yeah, but now I can't find my other gun. But this was many, many, many years ago. So I know I've had my gun since then. It's just in one of my three crafting rooms. I just have to find it. Or I just have to purchase another one. I'm going, you know, because it's... Uh... So here are our completed projects. And I know this video was a little all over the place, but I thank you for watching my first kind of tutorial video where I show you all my supplies and kind of show you what I'm doing, a little work with me. Um, so I'm going to go and come finish painting up all of these and completing all of these. And thank you for watching. Um, I hope I can edit out all my boo-boos. And thank you. You have an awesome and an amazing day. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up and give me a like. So, bye. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye. <laughs> so, I forgot to, in the last video, I forgot to show the last couple of steps. So, I just wanted to do the completed project from start to finish. So, the next steps, we're going to take our little magnets that we got that I showed you in the video earlier and we're just going to stick that onto the back of our project we're going to package this project we're going to complete it from start to finish so <laughs> I've been meshing these videos together and I have been editing out of pure necessity and um, the video is a little long, but I got it. So now I have to go and learn how to add music and words and all of that. Words first, music, I'm not so much worried about. So then I'm just going to take these little baggies that I got. And I have these baggies too. I had these baggies, but they're like plastic. And I really didn't I like the bag I like the size I like how long it is and all of that and I wish these bags I wish these bags were clear like this one's clear this one's like sandwich baggy color so um, I wish these were a little bit I wish these were like this, but maybe just with the tape instead of the zip locky part. But so the tape is at the bottom, so I put the ornament up at the top. I wish these were a little bit longer. I think these ones are longer than these. So I wish these were a little bit longer. But 
then I just package it. There's a little tape on there you can tape off and package up. So we're just going to put these in here for our presentation. So we'll put these out on the table at the party. I don't know if I'm going to be making anything else, making like a swag bag. The party's in April, so if I can think of something that's fast, quick, that I can add to to make a swag bag, fast, quick, and inexpensive. <laughs> um, I will. So that is our completed project with it all packaged up. Has our bling, has our flower, has our color, has everything, and has our magnet on the back. That is all three of our projects. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video, seeing all the supplies, seeing everything that we use to make it. God bless you for watching. Thank, um, thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.